Are you looking to attract more love or money into your life? Do you want to enhance your beauty and how others see you? Do you need protection? I've created these bath salts and perfumes to do just that. Go to my website, zenwithemmy.com, and use codes 10 off for 10% off or 10 off 75 when you make a purchase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading. And the question at hand is, do they want to see you again? Okay, so this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. And this is going to be a quickie reading. Okay, so it's just going to be to the point, yes or no. I'm not going to get into too many details because you just want to know plainly, do they want to see you again? So Aquarius, without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, angels, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, do they want to see you again, Aquarius? Does your person want to see you again? Does your person want to see you again? Does Aquarius' person want to see them again? Okay, we have the Four of Wands coming through here. All right, so the Four of Wands energy is um, happy homes, uh, surroundings, unions, serious commitments. Uh, this might even be... Um, some kind of celebration, family event, okay? Uh, somebody getting together. Um, I'm getting here, this could be like a graduation or a wedding, even like a housewarming party or something like that. Um, just some kind of family event I'm getting here. It could even be a birthday party, okay? Um, so this is what I'm seeing, union, like I said. So union, that's very promising. So now let's see. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know here? Give us some more details for Aquarius. Does their person want to see them again? So we see that at a social gathering, there could be a union. This person may be there. Oh, here we go. So it's looking like a yes. The situation will improve, okay? So the situation will improve. You may run into this person at some kind of social gathering. Um, let's see. We're going to go to my initials, traits, and features oracle deck now. And I'm just going to be using the letters at this point. So let's see. Who wants to see Aquarius again? Who wants to see Aquarius again? Let's get the initials of the person who wants to see Aquarius again? Who wants to see Aquarius again? Okay. Who wants to see Aquarius again? Okay. I'm an ex in the bedroom. Something is coming up here. We have an, your ex, and then we have B R M is coming through here. Now I'm getting two messages with B R M. Besides this being the possibility of someone's initials, your guides. This is just. Real quick about my oracle deck, which is why I created it. Your guides will communicate with you. They will spell things out. Your guides, your angels, your ancestors, whoever it is that you wish to communicate with, they do spell things out for you. It won't necessarily, because sometimes they will exactly spell a word out. Sometimes they'll do stuff like this, and you'll just look at it, and then in your mind you'll hear, like, oh, bedroom. Or this can even be something with a broom. Okay, so I think it's an... I'm not sure... I think it's an African-American tradition where they, they jump the broom. So like I said here, this might be at a wedding or a social gathering. Somebody might be getting married and there might be something like with a broom here. Or maybe if this is an ex, you guys got into a fight, maybe you beat somebody with a broom or something with a broom. Or I'm also hearing if you're home, let's say in the near future, and like the broom falls that's an indication of, okay, your guides are letting you know this person is going to be reaching out to you soon, okay? So something with the broom is significant here. It could also be a something with an ex in a bedroom. So if you're at a birthday party, you know, maybe like your cousin's birthday party or some family member's birthday party and this ex, you know, is still in touch with your family, you might bump into each other in the bedroom, a bedroom. You know, maybe if you're up north where it's cold or wherever it's cold, it's also like Midwest, it's called, um, you know, you put your coats down on the bed in somebody else's room when you go to a gathering. So you might bump into each other, getting your bag, getting your, your coat, putting it down, whatever. Okay. Or you might just get freaky in the bedroom. I mean, to each their own, nothing wrong with that. Okay. And then we have the letter T and we have the letter D. So I'm seeing DT. Somebody might be a detective here 
or something to do with DT. We, it's also, I'm seeing TD Bank. So somebody might be in the financial industry, maybe specifically with TD Bank. Um, you may also have investments or they may have investments with a TD Bank. Just showing you ways of how these cards work. Um, but if you're looking for initials, because this is a general reading, this could be their first, middle, or last. Could also be all three. Um, or it could also represent the city, state, or country they live in, or any way that um, these connect to you and your person. So like BR, I'm getting um, BRD. I'm getting here somebody might have braids. Okay, and I'm also with BR, I'm getting the color, the color brown. Okay, so however, the color brown is relevant. Also DR, somebody could um, be from Dominican Republic, or it could be um, somebody is a doctor, or somebody lives on um, something road, you know what I mean? I'm just going to say uh, Mountain Road because we have an M here. So like Mountain Road, for example, that's like their address. All right. So it, just all these different ways of how you can use these cards. It, it's endless, you know, but that's why it's good to have your own deck because then you can directly connect to it with your guides and get the answers that you need. Okay. So do they want to see you again? Yes. Um, we have an idea as to um, how you're going to bump into each other. But the situation will improve, okay? All right, so that is your message, Aquarius. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Um, please click the bell and select all so you'll be notified every time I post new content. If you're interested in my Oracle deck, the link is down below in the description box so you can purchase that through my Etsy shop or my website. If you want a private reading, go to my website, zenwithinme.com. If you want some spell work done, go to my website, zenwithinme.com. And if you have any real estate needs, please check out my other YouTube channel, Zen with Emmy Homes. Peace and love, stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.